Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. I'm gonna side in my 17 HMR and my 308 today. Now we're gonna start out at uh, I don't even know what distance this is, but just a close distance. Try to get it on paper, and then um, we'll go further back and and uh, side it in from there. Now I had some issues with this magazine. Um, the uh, the rounds. It's not holding the rounds into the magazine, so I don't know what the deal is there. I'll try that out when I get home. But we're shooting Hornady VMAX 17 grain. So that's what we're sighting it in on. We're just going to put in one round at a time. And I'm going to put this mag in just to, so that they don't fall out the top or the bottom. We're going to go with the right target. Take these off. Like it shot low. All right, that first shot went a little low. Let's see where this next one goes. I uh, adjusted it to go up about two inches. You can tell where that one hit. I think it hit in the black. All right, guys, so the first shot hit here, so I brought it up, the scope up, what should have been two inches, then it hit here, and I thought maybe that might have been me, so then I shot again off camera, and it hit here. So we're going to bring it up just a little bit more and see what that does, and then we're going to move back a little further and actually see what it does there. All right, guys, so I brought the scope up another two inches. It's uh, one quarter inch for every click, so I brought it up eight more clicks. Let's see where it goes now. I think that one's really close. All right, guys, so the fourth shot after bringing it up for another two inches, uh, didn't bring it up two inches, actually, but it put it right under the bullseye. So I figure from this point we can move back and see where it's hitting uh, further back because it might hit higher if we're uh, further back. I don't really know exactly how far we are here, but that's probably... 25, 30 yards, and we'll go back uh, another, another 25, 30, 40 yards. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So we moved back to about uh, 75, 80 yards, and uh, we're gonna see how accurate it is at this distance. Probably have to side it in a little bit more. Alright guys, so since we moved back, I think either this one or this one is the um, the one we just shot. So either way, we're going to have to go up, but, uh, or maybe it was this one, I don't remember. It could, it could be this one. I don't know, it was a while ago. I've been shooting other guns since then, so we'll, we'll, I'll have to look at the video, but uh, yeah. So either way, I'm going to have to go up and maybe even to the right. So, all right. Do one more shot here. I brought it up and to the right a little bit. Let's see what it does. All 
All right, so that last one was pretty close. I brought it up just a couple clicks and then uh, right just a couple clicks. So we'll see what it does now. A little bit shaky, so I've been doing this for a while. Alright, that one might be a little bit off because I'm shaking a little too much, but we'll see what it did. Alright guys, so here's the final result of the 17 HMR. All the initial shots were down here. Um, I think this was the first one and then we went up from here and then we moved back and I think this was the uh, first one we shot back there. And then I did another one, one of these up here was one and then I jerked the trigger when I was sh uh, kind of shaking around so then the last few shots this one and then these two I did off camera because I was kind of um, I'm kind of shaking around because I'm kind of tired I'm hot and uh, yeah so I did 11 shots in total um, so far I'm satisfied with the initial results um, we're gonna call it a day for today um, just because it's really hot and I'm kind of dehydrated and I want to go home But uh, for the first 11 shots, this isn't too bad. Got them all on the paper and uh, all uh, Within a fist size group really so we'll come out uh, another time and try to get the group tighter and uh, Try to get them all on the bullseye, but for now that's the initial results Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and before I ended the video, I just thought I'd address the issue that I was having with my four round magazine. Um, when I was out at the farm and I would try to load this thing up, I would push the round in and it would just pop out like this. And I really didn't understand what was going on because I, I had tried it out before to uh, test and see if this actually held four rounds or maybe if it held a, an extra and you know all the rounds would stay in there just fine and same with the seven round magazine but when I came home I uh, took a pair of a little pair of channel locks and I squeezed it together a little bit and then it held you know just fine or, or at least better than it did when I was at the farm and then all of a sudden I loaded it up and I put like three rounds in and they all popped out again. So what I found out is I think the weld on the back of the magazine just broke. Because see now you can squeeze the back of this and it squeezes together and it you know comes apart. So I think a weld broke on the back of this magazine. So I'm thinking I might give Marlin a call and see if maybe they'll they'll replace it. This something like this is small enough you could just put this in an envelope and send it through the mail um, and not have to worry about you know um, paying for shipping or anything. But uh, I'll give them a call see if they'll replace it. If not, I mean these are like ten, twelve dollars. These are not very expensive at all, so it wouldn't be a very expensive thing to replace um, but I, I want to give Marlin a chance to uh, you know see what their customer service is like um, but you know other than that I can still use the seven round mag because the seven round mag is still good and uh, you know I won't be without a magazine because the gun did come with two uh, which is still a plus but uh, we're gonna see what exactly Marlin's um, what their customer service is like. I'll give them a call or maybe email them if they if they do email, I don't know. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.